Hey, we, uh, as always, try to find something. Ah! Now, when I was young, which was a long time ago, I wasn't much of a math wizard. Even starting, I think, as back as early as, like, third grade with, like, Miss Heitgert. Uh, it wasn't my bag so much, man. But, you know, when I was young, they had some hip, hip items on television in between the Bugs Bunny vibe on a Saturday morning that I was interested in. 90 minutes a morning of that Bugs, man. Commercials, uh, sugar corn pops, and Ray Charles, and the Raisinettes, because he was a raisin, and all, all the whole band was raisins, and they sang about, have a hot breakfast with cocoa weeks. Woo! I wanted that hot breakfast. <laughs> But Bob Duro put together a whole situation for kids uh, of all ages. From one to 92. And even number nine got its benefactual effectiveness pronounced in the magic of a thing called Schoolhouse Rock. So if you actually needed Schoolhouse Rock to learn your times tables, you've come to the right place. You had then, you have now. At least when it comes to the number nine, because it's all written down. I'm gonna stare at it real hard because I still haven't learned all the number nine times tables. Believe me. But if you know it at home, you sing right along. Remember that cat comes in and he's got the pool cue and the little mouse right behind there, right behind the eight ball. He says, squeak, 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 squeak. Comes a little mouse. And then the big fat cat comes in, boom, boom, boom. And then they sing, it's a number nine. We'll put two on the spot. <laughs> number nine will tie you up in a knot. When you're trying, multiplying by nine, you might give it everything you got and still be stopped. If you don't know some secret way you can't take on, you'll break your neck on naughty number nine. Now the first thing to keep in mind, when you're multiplying by nine, is that it's one less than 10. You see, nine is the same as 10 minus one, so you could multiply a number by 10, and then subtract the results. You get the same product as if you'd multiplied by nine, and you knew it. I mean, <laughs> eight times nine is 80 minus eight. Seven times nine is 70 minus seven. Six times nine is six to minus six. You could use those tricks. Cause you must have some secret way you can't beat it. Or else you'll meet it with naughty number nine. Of course, it doesn't hurt to know the table of nines by memory. It goes like this. So one time nine is nine. Two times nine is 18. Mean old number nine. Three times nine is 27. Four times nine is 36. Five times nine is 45. Six times nine is 54. Seven times nine is 63. Eight times nine is 72. Nine times nine is 81. And 10 times nine is 
90. Now, the digit sum is always equal to 9, I mean. If you add 2 and 7, the digits, you get 9, the digit sum. That makes no sense to me at all. Because you must have some secret where you can't check it. Or else you'll wreck it with naughty, nasty, mean old number 9. 